Oh shit. happy about this new gift shelf. It seems like you've been getting gift shelves left and right. Holy cow. Oh shit, there she is! Oh! So we meet again. Her voice is soft. I know now. Behind those words is hidden an intense lust for blood. She. This bitch. She's the one who did it all. <laughs> you came to back around that quickly. You gave me nearly a whole day. More than enough time. I admit that rabbit's attack surprised me. Unexpected events can be themselves be rather enjoyable. I have brought Mary to H Shrine, cut sight of the rabbit there. I have suspected Mary's true nature. That rabbit, his great love for you pushed it into recklessness. What was that rabbit, really? Determine that for yourself. Who are you? Know that an answer will come. Thought it's impossible so long as you bear the mark I gave you. Oh shit! <laughs> I currently have five gifts of running at this very moment. Wild. Mad lad. I had a hunch, but hearing it from her lips fills me with fucking dread. So what are you trying to accomplish? Dragging the living to the death of despair before killing them. I believe I explained that is a spirit's utmost desire and joy. And I had your cooperation with achieving that. Cooperate? That's ridiculous. Well, have you not realized yet? You did bring those pathetic mark bearers directly to the spirits, did you not? They feared the spirit's existence, trembled in the face of death. I savored the taste of the fear and despair. Most delicious. You had all of that, you had all of us help out just to terrify the mark bearers even more? Clearly. A cute mouse. Wow. That is a cute mouse. I could have waited for the curse to complete if I only wanted him dead. That's not the only lie. Mark bearers must stay in small groups. Do not contact outsiders. All my instructions were to drive you into a state of emergency. Not once did you doubt me. I bet she's telling me all of this. She wants me terrified of how hopeless the situation I find myself is in. I'm frozen in place and I know my face will be as pale as death. She must be loving this. Don't tell me you created all those spirits. Just to accomplish that. Indeed. Oh, this fucking bitch. I can't believe it. <laughs> when Lady Christie the believed divine wrath was the cause of the mark, I had never been more amused. Oh, her foolishness was so delightful. I just had to come along with you. Oh, you lied, you son of a bitch. You fucking lied. <laughs> of course. How could a pile of broken statues possibly do anything? Fuck you, beige. I could be imagining it, but I feel like she hesitated for a moment there. Fifty years ago, I was sealed away by the head of Kuju family. I awoke there five years ago. At the time, I was still unable to speak and communicate, but it seems my awakening alone caused a number of ripples. 
Those who died unfortunate deaths on Cursed Land became monster spirits. The H Elementary abuse, the Honeybee mass suicide, psychos assault and suicide, they all happened five years ago. Finally regained my full power a little over a month ago. Then the Buddha statue connected to me 50 years ago began moving. The woman killed by the statue was also influenced by my power. That must be the canon soldier in Tsukawa. Tsukawa believed it was a divine oracle from the soldier. But it really had been Mary. She did it as the great Azura said and transformed herself into Miss Zu. Fucking hell. Once my strength returned, I again bestow my power on spirits. It connects humans to me and manipulates them into a panic. The mark. They've been toying with us. Well, was there really a need to make us be connected to you in some way? Of course! By being in direct contact with you, I could mm, taste your fear. Even now, are you scared of me, Lord Rodriguez? Mm, no. Very admirable. Oh, are you gonna fucking transform? Oh shit! <laughs> Oh no! No, no, please! Please, no! Ever since you declared that you would fight the mark, I've waited eagerly for this day. Oh! Oh! I don't like that! I don't like that! You said it was Rodriguez? Yeah, that's my last name. Over the last ten days, I've tasted your fear through the mark. Thick and sure it but you like honey. Its savored morsel made me want to smash you to pieces. But I waited. I'm not so foolish as to kill a goose that lays golden eggs. <sighs> Aha! But I cannot take it anymore. Like crushing a ripe fruit and zipping its juices. I want to break you down and savor your sweet fear. Oh, fuck it up. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, fuck it up. Oh, fuck. The mark has died in deep crimson. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I thought to blur the color suddenly. I have to mark her right before dawn. I've seen him it, it many times. Is that what's happening to me now? Or Rodriguez. Wait for me. I'll kill you. <laughs> Can't Mary stand up over by the sofa? At this rate, the rabbit's fate will be mine too. Have to run away. Check within the room. In the red. In my room. Yeah, this is done. It is done right now. Will you finally get your wish, King Nut? Something whispers in my ear. That's right, that voice. But what does my room mean? Focus, what does the voice belong to? Asuka, she said it was someone who loved me. Oh, shit. Uh. Was, um. Was this. Like the the person who researched the marks was she actually was she actually my girlfriend that wasn't a goof and a gaff? I also have to say. Hopefully that's right. Sprint at full speed up the stairs of flying to Saya's room. Okay. All right. Holy shit! Can't believe that was a goof and a gaff. It's like the entrance hall. It's dark. Boy said, "Check within the red in my room. The blood, the ketchup. Where should I look? Ah. Uh... I mean, there's literally nothing else red." Sacrifice's blood stain still on the floor. It's obviously dry at this point in time. Might be something lying on top of it. 
can't be too sure because it's dark. Was there the last time I was here? Is it? Is it whatever was guarding the? Yeah, it was whatever was in the um the shrine. Picking it up, I discovered that it's a small pouch. Inside is a hard, thin object. Move it over in the moonlight to see it better. Oh, there it is! It's oh my god, it's all hairy and bloody. Small Buddha statue. Can't be. Is this the ninji butsu? Seems to be stained with blood, and I get an ominous feeling from it. The impurity hasn't been exercised yet. I secretly know the instant I see it. My my mind is suddenly flooded with all my me the memories of the ninja butsu, one after the other. Fifty years ago, the head of the Kuju family used this to see steal Mary's power. He put the ninja butsu inside her to seal her. And about a month ago, someone took it out. That person was me. Because of that, Mary regained her powers. Ha! The butsu in my hand looks exactly as it did back, full of impurity. I can't wait anymore. <laughs> Die and done already. Okay, it builds up. Build up from stealing Mary's power for 50 years. To cleanse it, I left the ninja bitsu at the uncontaminated egg shrine. It take time to exercise all the impurity. It's already July. It's on purification right is over. So why is it still impure? Object the rabbit head in its mouth. Could have been carrying a pouch then instead of the master key. The ninja pizza was taken away from H Shrine before the beginning of July. The perfect sex doll. Yeah, you do it and then she just fucking murders you. And <laughs> done. Hey, the rabbit saw Mary by the shrine and was scared that she would find it. So I had no choice but to steal it away. Door to the distant room opens. Must be looking for me. She can't. She can sense the presence of Mark Bearers. What's going on? Wait. Is it possible that Sai's blood is protecting me? Oh, oh fuck. Yo, Kira Cats, how's it going? Bring, bring it to where I met my end. Oh, just put it on the floor then? Whistle whistles in my ear again. This isn't where the voice owner has died. They must have met the demise somewhere else. Another place. Oh! The, in front of the couch. While Mary's in the other room, I sprint down to the entrance hall. I could be on to Mary's sofa in the spot where the rabbit died. The voice that spoke to me and helped every time the spirit was closing in. So I was working through anything. It must have been the rabbit. Wow, I can't believe she was the rabbit the whole time. Oh, hey! Nice! That was easy. <laughs> this is what you've been telling me, Saya? Speak to the departed woman who has guided me as I struggled without memories. Put the ninja, ninja bitsu, the source of the doll's curse. Press it to the black mark. The black mark? And the whisper stop. Oh god, what the face her now? The floorboards creak ominously. I raise my head to the staircase, raising it to the darkness before me. Oh, oh no, 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 The dark figure stands on the landing. Ah, Oh lord. Oh! Ouchies! Ow! Oh, wow, look at all the marks! Head goes blank. Wow, she's using 100% of her power. Sorry, eating chips. Man, you better share some. Body won't listen to me. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> hello, Betty. Hello, Rodriguez. Mary closes her hands around my neck. 
trying to kill me. Oh, fuck. Huh? He's an in in the bit in the fog that's a pity my thought lifts. I still dump my nut in it. Hmm, big biggest thonk of all. I still struggle to think. I should be able to move my arm now. The ninja bits on the source of the curse. It's on her arm, I think. I have one chance, where should I stick the ninja bitsu? I'll call make her pretty <laughs> again. Sure. I managed to drag my impossibly heavy arm and stick the ninja bitsu right on Mary's right arm. Yeah, that's where the mark was. She's hiding it. I'm sure that's where the black mark was. Ah! 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 Oh! Marks of bloom on Mary's face, one after another. They're all the color of blood. It's like they're the curses of those she killed. Oh, oh, yeah, fuck you, Vince, fuck you. You killed my girlfriend, though. No. Mary shatters into dust. Did I really do it? I suddenly looked down at my right arm. <gasps> yeah, we're not gonna die at dawn. Time to party. <laughs> Sorry, King Nut. No dying today. I did it. Finally did it. I have to say it out loud to convince myself. What is even happening in this game? Who knows? A victor at the expense of Saya's life. I can't claim it's completely over, but... There's no harm being relieved for now. Fog caught louding, my head clears away. Very slowly return to me. Look around the dimly lit hall again. Notice mansion well, cause I'm... Clock on the second floor begins chiming, wildly like it did ten days ago. Make my way to it, it stops. As if it had a will of its own. That's right, this grandfather clock. I think a skilled ancestor of the Kuju family crafted it. That one chisel may have been used to make it. That's right, inside this clock. Put the door and stick my hand inside. Figures brush against something hard. Taking out, I realize it's a voice recorder. Huh? Press the play button. It's a man's voice, a voice I know too well. It's my voice. Oh, he was her husband. Wow. Oh shit. Decided to leave this recording behind in case something would happen. A doll may dispose of any files or documents. Blank, I'm banking on her overlooking a piece of technology. So listen, I start to remember recording this. Done it right before I received the mark from Mary. Now, where should I begin? It started five years ago. Two years after I became Kuju family head. Sister, Saya. I found the doll in a wood box while starting the warehouse. Oh, so it wasn't his girlfriend, it was his sister. Oh, shit. The moment I broke the seal and saw her, would sense something sinister. 
That took a while longer to fully understand what she truly is. If only there had been records. Great grandfather who sealed or didn't leave any before his early death. Because of that, his descendants weren't told about the doll. Managed to learn the doll had been loaned to an RV lab during the war. A strange old man who lived in an underground shelter told me. Then I went overseas to try and get more information on the doll. I got into an accident while away I was, and was presumed missing. So yeah, I became the new family head. I was able to contact her until after she had inherited the title. It wasn't something worth contesting. So I explained everything and had her keep up the facade that I was missing. Public records still stated Asamune was very much alive, of course. I couldn't have used my passport or license otherwise. I'm off topic, sorry. I only just returned to the country last week. All our psychics abroad all agreed it would be bad to leave the doll be. Injibitsu inside the doll still suppressed its cursed power, but realized that it was almost at its limit. If I left it alone, it would crumble. It would be impossible to suppress the cursed power of the doll. That was the worst case scenario. But what was to be done? The answer I came up with was to remove the ninjutsu from the doll temporarily. Its impurity would be cleansed after a month stored in a pure area. Then I'll place it back in the doll. If I succeed, the doll's power will be sealed for a few more decades. But the problem is that one month, no idea what kind of curse will be released when the doll is unsealed. I'll do what I can to prevent disasters. But my power can't compare it to the ninjutsu. Can't guarantee anything. There may be victims again, like the tragedy 50 years ago. But this is a necessary evil. Must be done in order to prevent even more people fall from falling victim. After this, I'll disassemble a doll and remove the ninjutsu. I pray everything goes according to plan and the worst of evils is avoided. This record isn't needed. Quit eyeing the doll and know what you're thinking. No! But that doll is fucking evil. What if you get a mark on your dick? How are you gonna get rid of that, huh? On King Nut. <laughs> if one listening to this is a loved one who's fallen victim to the curse, then I'm very sorry. Recording ends here. Pap. <laughs> Why, sure, that'll totally work. Hunter with fist so hard, my dale's dig into my palms. Yes, the voice on the tape was mine, but I'm furious with it. Don't know that person at all. Mark has claimed so many victims over the past month. He lost my little sister, Saya. Was she just not an inevitable victim that the voice spoke of? I... It had to be done. Had to be done. I'm Isa Rodriguez, but I'm also a Mas Masumu Mukuju. I understand why he felt as if he had to do that. It was his fate. Because your family are forever linked to that cursed doll. Holy shit. Fucking wild. Two months have passed. Occasional cool breeze signals that summer is almost over. I spend my time putting the case of the mark to rest as best as I can. Put Saya to rest by burying the rabbit and contracted the surviving mark bearers. The game's still not over? I thought, I think there's like DLC chapters too, I'm not sure. That's like also in the game already. Putting the Buddha statues in place of honor was also one of those tasks. They weren't connected to the mark after all. I couldn't just leave them there. Plus, there's no way Crusade would keep quiet about the statues. So with their guidance and Yusuoka, Diamond, and Banshee's help, I carried the broken statues out of the shelter and returned them to H-Shrine. But now, my memory has completely returned. Things didn't quite go as originally planned, but at least the danger has passed. I don't think my decision as Masamune was wrong. 
But time weighs a powerlessness and this potency overwhelmed me. I think of the victims of the mark, and Saya in particular. My chest hurts. I want to do something for them. As the new head of the Kuju family. About the memories I've regained. I became the Kuju family head seven years ago. I'll admit I was a bit of a recluse. Left the public appearances to Saya, referring to stay out of the spotlight. All these photos of me from small local newspapers. I uncovered Mary by accident in family's warehouse five years ago. It was a discovery that changed my life. No kidding! I traveled extensively abroad in order to learn more about Mary. One country got into an accident fell into a coma for half a year. And worse, the country proceeded to treat me as an unidentified traveler. Don't know if that was merely by my terrible luck or, or if Mary's curse had something to do with it. I'll say it'll, hey, Lou, I felt, man, my words. Now I was finally able to contact home, so I had already come to new head. This was as the tape said. No idea that Mary's power was far greater than I imagined. All my efforts to suppress her power were completely useless. My memories unraveled, unraveled faster than I thought. How did Mary come to life, come to be in the first place? Theory says a doll maker in the 19th century used magic to create her. Or says the spirit of a young girl who died prematurely took up residence in the doll. Again, it's still a mystery. No one knows what happened to create a doll like that. We only know that each of Mary's owners died tragic deaths. Shortly after the turn of the 20th century, she came to be owned by the head of the Kujis. He either didn't know the curse or simply didn't believe it. Deaths of disasters began befalling the family. Oh. Mary gained enough power to become sentient and produce spirits. The tragedy in the shelter happened. I wonder why he made her. Hmm. Well, apparently it's like an... She's an ancient... I thought the Kuju family made her, but apparently she's like an ancient haunted doll that they were just like... That they just found. They're like, huh, that's cool. And... <laughs> no. No. They didn't buy it, they didn't get her for that reason, okay? There's a tragedy in the shelter happened. Seething grudges of the experiments, victims, and the Buddha statues may have triggered her awakening. Whatever Mary's true identity is, the fact remains she altered many people's fates. Mine and the Mark Bearers included. Speaking of, an update on surviving Mark Bearers. Mo Wananabe became a part-time writer for her favorite magazine, Oop, Oop Arts Monthly. Someone comes to Kuju Mansion to interview me about spirits and ghosts. Asuka Yoshida is studying every day for the middle school exams next year. He bragged in his letter to me about how well he did in the national mock test. Satoru Mashita bought me a drink like he promised. And he's thinking about becoming a private detective. Actually, me asked if I wanted to join him. Are you serious? Do it. Do it. Do it. Gotta. Shao Nagashima is by picking fights, riding his bike, and doing whatever he wants as usual. Recently, out of the blue, I heard he's joined his neighborhood's baseball team. Nice. Chrissy Armora started writing an essay exposing all her past affairs. Trying to get back into the industry. Susan Marmori was able to see her father. Lately, she started asking me for advice on how to get her parents to reconcile. I have no idea if it helped at all, but she said they sometimes have meals together now. That's good. D anime dude. Gita has gone back to surfing the BBS every day as usual. As soon as he's been stopped by the city employment center. He wants to get a steady job and be a role model for Suzu. Uh, best of luck to him. That's good. He doesn't go by I don't see I guess the ball get TV as part of Love and Hero. I miss these characters. Yeah, I'm glad nobody died. Because we didn't know who they are. Oh, rip. She said I took it like she promised, but 
Yeah, you drum off some courage to go to the concert for teens alone at my age. Do it. You gotta. Toka Yushige is still working at a, as a fortune teller in Ginza. No, not miss miss them. Oh, <laughs> I miss them. Apparently she believes I have spiritual powers or something. This is in. I was around while they were in the game. For all of them? For every single. You've been around for at least some of these guys. Madoka Hiro spent her days working as a researcher while also visiting the shelter. Her imagination squabble a lot. My wish sheets up. Complaining me about it. Sure, Diamond seems to be doing better now. Like a weight's been lifted off his chest. He's in the process of convincing officials to publicize the shelter and build a memorial for him. Now, who that little lady was, or that fat dude, or the schoolgirl. <laughs> he has been turned to his beloved underground shelter. Self spite a mansion sometimes, filling in the place with his scent. Of course, he comes to beg me for food. You gotta hose him down. Now then. Finish why break and return to the workbench in the corner of the room. Past two months, Mary has managed to repair herself. Power hasn't completely come back yet. She's still extremely frightening. Oh fuck! She's already fixed up. The energy bits you alone won't be enough to continue sealing her power in the years to come. Must appear extra spiritual measures. It's taken a long time to get those ready, but today I finally finished. Fuck. Over right, once everything is complete, I replace the ninja bitsu inside Mary. Finally, it's over. Pick Mary up and put her in the wood box. Five years. This all served when I open up the lid of this box. That fucking bitch. Mary stares up at me from the depths of the box. I have no idea if she is aware of what's happening right now. There's no doubt she will regain her powers when the ninja bitsu wears out decades from now. Give in to your urges. No, don't you murder me. I'm determined to find a way to destroy this crystal before it happens. Till that day, you need to stay asleep, Mary. Go to permanent Mimi's, you fucking bitch. Wow. Wow. Oh, holy shit. I can't believe Mary was fucking super evil demon the whole time. Wow, we did it! Oh man, that was a uh, quite a romp. It's pretty, it's pretty good. All right, there were some pretty good spooks in there too. I like, I liked how all the the ghosts looked. They're pretty spook, spooktacular. Oh man. I gotta... I was about to say, is this per is it that background person hanging? Carbs the doll in the DLC. Wow. Gallery's been added to the title screen. You're able to view the game's illustrations. And that's how she gets out. Wow. Totally. <laughs> 